Hey guys, let us learn about the X-ray contrast media in this short topic. The kind of questions that you get from this topic are they give you the example of a contrast media and ask you whether it is a dimer, ionic, dimer, non-ionic. They usually make the permutations combination from these words, okay? So they ask you if it is monomer, non-ionic, dimer, ionic. So you get confused, right? So after this uh, short explanation, there won't be any further confusion and I'll explain you what are all the examples also that come under each different classes and how to remember it in the same order. So this one chart uh, summarizes everything for you regarding the contrast media. Now let's get started. So uh, you are going through all this struggle like remembering all the names and all reading so many topics to get into MD right. So to get into residency. So the mnemonic here is INMD that is in MD okay. So you have to divide the flow chart accordingly. That is I is ionic and N is non-ionic. MD is monomer, dimer, monomer and dimer. So in MD is ionic, non-ionic, M, M is monomer, D is dimer. So we have divided the flow chart properly now. Now let us understand few terminologies like number of iodine and number of particle that so that we can derive iodine particle ratio. So whenever we talk about number of iodine, it depends upon whether the compound is monomer or dimer. See if it is a monomer, you just have one ring and three iodines attached to it. So the number of iodine will be three in a monomer. If you are talking about a dimer, it has two rings. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So overall six iodines attached to it. So number of iodine depends upon mono is three, dimer is six, three and six. Now let us uh, talk about the particles. So if a compound is ionic, it splits into positive and negative things, right? So two particles will be there. If it, the compound is ionic, it is two. If it is non-ionic, it, it stays as a single particle, single compound. So two is there in ionic everywhere. And in non-ionic chart, it will be one. Now derive the ratio. I is to P, that is iodine is to particle. Three is to two. Six is to two is nothing but three is to one. Here it is directly three is to one. Here it is 6 is to 1. So you need to remember the ratio in the same order. That's why I have given you the mnemonic of in MD. So in exam also you, you should uh, visualize this chart that ionic, non-ionic then you split into MD. Now comes the osmolality. Uh, decrease the osmolality in the same order. 1600 then comes the half 800 then start with 800 and end with 300. Okay. So this is the order of osmolality. Since it's the higher, this is the highest one, 1600, it is high osmolar contrast media, HOCM. And these two are uh, having same, right, 800. So these are low osmolar contrast media. And the last one is iso-osmolar because it is uh, similar to the plasma osmolarity. So that is considered to be the safest uh, uh, contrast media, 300 ones. So when they ask you a question about which of the following compounds have the least uh, or the uh, which of the fol following have least osmolarity, we tend to answer low osmolar because the word has low in it but the actual thing is iso osmolarity has the least among all the classes okay keep that thing in mind that iso osmolar has the least that is 300 now let us uh, learn about the examples which is the main part so when you discuss about ionic things it ends with eight okay and if it is about non-ionic it ends with all alcohol all okay so all the names look at the names first both ionic examples have 8 in it, right? Diatroizate and ioxalate. And both non ionic have all in at the end. Iohex all and iodixon all. Okay. So both have alls. Now, how to remember whether diatroizate is monomer or dimer? See, remember, if you remember the same order like MD and MD, the first example starts with a letter di, and the last example also has di. So ditriosinate and iodixanol, both dyes comes in the end. That is ionic monomer is one thing and non-ionic dimer is the other thing. Okay, this is sorted. So the remaining that is ioxolate is here and iohexol is here. Iohexol otherwise called as omnipack and diatriosate is uh, urographin or gastrographin. So this thing you need to remember. So di and di comes in first and last. Whereas ioxalate and iohexol is in between. So uh, when you uh, talk about the examples, all eights other than ioxalate come here. Okay. So if you find any name with eight in the end, if it is not ioxalate, ioxalate, then it comes under ionic monomer examples. You need to remember that thing. Let us solve few questions now. Iothalamate is an example of. So first itself, you found eight in it. Eight meaning ionic. So non-ionic options are ruled out. Let us rule them out. Because non-ionic should have all in their name. It has 8. Cello, fine. 
now iothalamid so what did i tell you ioxa glade right ioxa glade comes in the second one second one meaning ionic dimer right you divide it into md monomer dimer so ionic dimer is ioxa glade the except for this ioxa glade remaining all eights come under ionic monomer right so the answer will be ionic monomer here ionic dimer is ioxa glade so this is how you need to solve this kind of question so that there won't be any confusion and you won't make any silly mistake so these are the high yield topics guys you should not make mistake in these type of topics now solve this question for me which of the following is isoosmolar contrast media omnipack gastrographin ioxa glade and iodixanol answer in the comment section below and guys if you have any topic of difficulty you can always ask me in the comment Thank section you. or the telegram groups the links to which are provided in the description below please support by subscribing to the channel